globally about a billion people do not have access to electricity and about three billion people rely on wood or animal dung for cooking and heating exposing many women and children to dangerous levels of indoor air pollution could the use of renewable energy sources like the wind and the sun be the pathway humans must take to ensure access to affordable reliable sustainable and modern energy for all hi i'm professor alistair sproul head of school of photovoltaic and renewable energy engineering at unsw sydney you may have heard people dismissing renewable energy by saying but what if the sun doesn't shine and the wind doesn't blow the question of intermittency is a good one to ask but fortunately there are many solutions in many parts of the world wind and solar energy are often complementary so when it isn't sunny the wind is blowing and vice versa also storage of energy is increasingly becoming cost effective for small scale systems we can use batteries and for large scale systems off river pumped hydroelectric storage in addition for modern electricity networks, there are a lot of interconnections over vast distances. So in Australia, for example, we can share solar, wind and hydroelectricity all the way from Cairns to Hobart and Adelaide, as well as all the major cities and towns in between, utilising 40,000 kilometres of transmission lines and cables. In 2007, hydroelectricity was essentially the only source of renewable energy in Australia and accounted for 6% of the nation's electricity. In 2019, the contribution from renewables has grown to 23%, with dramatic increases in solar photovoltaics and wind, both of which saw increases of 8 percentage points. The costs of photovoltaics and wind are reducing dramatically. For example, photovoltaics has seen a reduction in cost of 10 percentage points every year over the past 10 years. Renewable energy, such as photovoltaics and wind especially, is now in many parts of the world the lowest cost option for generating electricity. Rooftop photovoltaics on Australian homes and businesses produces about 5% of our electricity and delivers electricity at about one third of the cost of conventional electricity sources. In Australia, installed photovoltaic and wind energy systems have been growing by a factor of 10 every eight to 10 years. In Australia, all electricity consumption today is about the same as it was 10 years ago, despite our increasing population and our increasing use of electrical devices. This has occurred in part due to better end use efficiency of buildings, equipment and appliances. And as a result, Australia's electricity consumption today is 20% below what it would have been without energy efficiency. The great news about the revolution we are seeing in low cost photovoltaics and efficient appliances such as LED lighting is that these technologies can be delivered at any scale. In responding to the challenge of climate change, University of New South Wales will source 100% of its electricity from a solar farm in Balranald in western New South Wales. The solar farm will be operational in June 2020. It's an exciting time in solar energy because we've come a long way from the laboratory to building solar farms like this. These solar farms are now producing electricity cheaper than coal and gas and so this is just the beginning. As people in Australia and other countries adopt renewable energy and energy efficiency, we are reducing greenhouse gas emissions, which is incredibly important for stabilising the climate and minimising the impact of climate change on the poorest of the poor. In addition, as we scale up this technology, the price comes down even further and makes it more accessible to even more people all over the world. Already, we are seeing many countries where they do not have landlines bypassing that technology and adopting mobile communications. Similarly, countries that are without modern energy systems now can bypass fossil fuels and develop their energy systems based on renewable energy sources and efficient equipment and appliances. I believe this is the pathway 
that we must take if we are to transition to affordable and clean energy for all. We can all play a part in helping to make our world more sustainable. What can I do, you ask? When you buy appliances, look for the energy rating label and compare products to ensure you purchase an efficient product. Typically, this will save electricity and money over the life of the product. You may also want to consider changing your electricity plan to one with more renewable energy in the mix. Hopefully, very soon, this will become the new standard.